Hello everyone. Uh, I hope uh, all are doing well, uh, well, with, well, and well and uh, healthy. So today we are uh, mm, discussing about uh, multi-threading concepts in Rust languages. So, correct. Right. So when it comes to a multi-threading concurrency uh, programming in a Rust language, we are uh, suddenly we are thought, uh, thinking about the multi-threading concept like mutex and some, some threads uh, ownership and borrowing some things then send traits so these are the some uh, multi-threading concepts uh, whichever we are using in a rust language rust programming language so here um, <clears throat> in a in in the way of uh, programming languages concurrent programming languages in rust uh, so it's a very safe way to write a program that can effectively utilize the multiple threads to perform tasks concurrently this is the main Thing, uh, for the using of the multi-threading -thread concept so here rust provides a built-in support for uh, concurrent programming throughout the ownership and borrowing systems then as well as the uh, set of abstractions and tools to manage the uh, thread safety synchronizations so these are the concepts like uh, uh, with the uh, uh, here some of the example I will tell you those things so like uh, uh, if you are using a threads so you are seeing like this uh, standard threads are there so when it comes to or mouse hmm. yeah and he see here the threading module and sorry uh, and executing rush programming consists of the con collection of native os threads each with their um, uh, own stack and local states so threads can be named uh, and uh, uh, provide some built-in support for the low-level synchronizations so uh, rust rust standards library provides the module called uh, rust uh, std dot std threads mm, that allows you to create a um, manage threads you can spawn new threads using uh, uh, std threads uh, colon colon spawn functions this is calling like uh, uh, spawning a thread into uh, programming language so again we are talking about some uh, I, I'm said uh, I said like in previously I said like a uh, uh, mutex mutex mutual exclusion exclusions so in this in this uh, in this key uh, in this pro keyword so we are using like a, a standard sync mutex type provides the mutual exclusion primitives uh, that allows you to uh, synchronize access to the shared data between two, two threads by uh, if, if you are taking a like if you are um, uh, writing access to the data so we are mutability uh, variables here it will give uh, allow you to uh, access to the mutable data and synchronize access to the shared data by acquiring releasing the locks and uh, mutex six enforces that uh, only one thread can uh, access the data at a time uh, preventing data races so that is the concept so if you are uh, if you are the first thread is accessing a data and lock it there only so the other th thread cannot be accessed for that so it's locked uh, in the previous thread itself so we can unlock it and uh, then we can use it so that is the concept in uh, mutex things so uh, i recently got uh, uh, just uh, i'm exploring regarding uh, some concurrent programming multi threading concept so i uh, comes to know about uh, cross beam uh, cred so um, if you are able to see these things i guess so um, uh, this is the cross beam uh, tra um, cross beam cred so which is mainly used for the uh, tools for concurrent programming this is to pro provide the tools concurrent programming uh, about the multi threading concept so here i basically um, just i got to know about the atomics here atomic cell so is a thread safe mutable memory locations sharing between the threads 
so that's why um, i will go through the uh, one example for the uh, atomic cell which i have uh, written already so we'll check we'll we'll check just jump into that example here in vs code i hope uh, everyone seeing vs code uh, i will make you a bigger font size okay <clears throat> hope this is visible for uh, everyone okay so in this one um, when it comes to a uh, mm -hmm, when it comes to we are uh, saying about the <coughs> atomic cell so in this scenario i will i will explain you from the beginning itself like uh, we are i'm just um, <coughs> using the cross beam text in the dependency which is a uh, very uh, useful to create a, a multi-threading concept uh, as well as a atomic cell we are using for the threading concept so i'm using this uh, dependency in uh, cargo.toml file so then in the main program i'm just uh, using those credits but whichever i am using so uh, this one one of the atomic uh, reference counting standard uh, uh, synchronization for the yeah, useful synchronization primitives this is also one then i'm using uh, threads here thread module then one more thing i'm using uh, uh, dependency as a cross beam cross beam so that's why i'm using here uh, atomic uh, atomic cell is a, a thread safe mutable memory locations this type of equal to cell uh, except into uh, ex except it can also be shared among multiple threads this this keyword like this module atomic cell <coughs> so here uh, we are uh, writing a function function uh, called uh, run threads so um, the define after function name as a run thread which takes three <coughs> three parameters one is like uh, arc number and uh, store boolean functions so it can uh, returns the thread uh, return thread threads uh, join handles returning these things so in this one inside the function we are just uh, a new thread <coughs> uh, spawning a uh, spawn by using a uh, thread spawn uh, the thread checks to uh, store boolean and if if it is true the store is if it is true uh, it will automatically increment the value in the atomic cell by one this is using uh, fetch add okay after that we are printing whatever the load value is there no that one we are printing it you know uh, a print statement hello from the thread whatever we are getting from here so this is the function we are uh, 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 i'm written so after that when it comes to a main program start start with the main things um here uh, atomic in we are just uh, printing uh, starting up the atomic cell example for the uh, user friendly like uh, user can uh, see the programming language first so then let uh, atomic value we are uh, uh, just creating a variable atomic called atomic value here I'm accessing the atomic cell with a create an atomic cell with the initial value of 20 where I am assigning 20 value to the atomic value then uh, I'm again I'm creating a ARC arc uh, keyword uh, sorry a variable uh, in that variable <coughs> this variable wraps atomic cell in the this variable uh, sorry <coughs> one second yeah this variable uh, usually wrap around uh, uh, okay sorry uh, this will create a uh, new arc method uh, atomic uh, reference counter by safety sharing uh, amongst them uh, with the uh, atomic value so then again when it comes to uh, um, thread handlings here uh, we are 
looking the thread vector collect collection join handling we are uh, collecting uh, all vectors in a join hand handle uh, value written by the each spawn thread each thread routine so that one we are uh, <coughs> collecting from there uh, then again uh, in a for loop uh, for each method used to iterate over the threads uh, handles and join each thread in uh, using join joins handles the threads and each, each uh, uh, threads we are uh, using for the jo joining uh, if there is any, any error joining in the thread error message will be printed out from there so after all thread finish uh, finish value will uh, store it in a uh, atomic cell uh, and then finally uh, printed in atomic cell and uh, finally a message printed uh, indicates that uh, atomic cell example after that whichever we are getting from the here um, loading a, loading a value to the uh, we are just printing a value whatever value we are getting with the respective of the threads then after that uh, finally we are uh, closing this one <clears throat> this is like every thread handling with the uh, uh, whichever value we are giving so uh, we'll run it once and uh, we'll see how how it looks like save it this one terminal uh, for the running state uh, we are using only cargo run for this one <coughs> so um, yeah we got the response from here uh, i'm assigning value to the initial initial value as a 20 right so um, for the first thread will access a value of 20 then third third thread will access for the 20 then uh, fifth thread and fourth thread so like this it will going on with the uh, ninth value ninth iteration we are having one to nine iteration after that we the value what we are getting lastly 24 value uh, which is stored in a atomic cell sorry uh, load load variable so we are just printing that one so this is called like uh, every thread is having like uh, accessing the data whatever we are given so <clears throat> i think uh, uh, this makes sense sense to uh, everyone so we'll we'll come up with uh, different uh, videos and then uh, the new topics like uh, uh, array array queue also there in uh, crossbeam uh, uh, git repository so i will come up with a new video for uh, array array queue uh, array queue sorry <coughs> array queue on that then <coughs> um, that's it uh, for this video i hope this video will make sense to everyone okay thank you thank you all <coughs>